In most instances, the first tool to be installed in the Davenport screw machine is the cutoff tool. The cutoff tool not only allows the setup man to sever form blanks from the bar, it also establishes one end of the workpiece and makes it possible to install the stock stop, which will also be set on this tape. Advance the machine until the revolving head is locked into position, approximately 95 hundredths of the cam. A washer, approximately the same thickness as the cutoff blade, must be placed between the front and back sections of the holder and aligned such that the top screw secures the washer in place. The top screw should be secured first to prevent the holder from warping. The cutoff tool is installed in the cutoff holder and scaled such that it protrudes from the holder 3 eighths of an inch. The screws are then tightened to secure the tool in place. When installing the cutoff tool holder in the machine, the pin in the holder is placed in the hole in the adjusting plate that will bring the tool closest to center. The layout may now be scaled and the cutoff arm positioned the proper distance from the face of the work collet. Disengage the starting clutch. Insert the cam lever handle into the fifth position cam lever. While jogging the machine, push the cutoff tool forward until the tool faces the bar. Adjust the tool to center if necessary in accordance with the instructions on the Davenport operator tapes. Repeat the facing procedure for all five spindles. In most cases, final turnbuckle adjustment will not be possible until the workpiece is complete to the fifth position. At that time, the tool arm should be adjusted with the turnbuckle such that the workpiece is severed immediately before the cutoff arm begins to retreat. The 2763-10SA combination stock stop face tool holder and drill holder may be tooled up before the stock length is set. Advance the machine to half index or 3 o'clock on the slot on the burring spindle opening and closing cam. Install the 671 collar and clamp on the first position spindle. Care should be taken that the radii on the clamp are positioned to the hole in the spindle. Place the cam lever handle in the first position end working cam lever and push the lever forward while retracting the stock stop latch. This will enable the spindle to retract far enough to allow for holder installation. On the workpiece layout, we see a center drill in the first position protruding 7 8 inch from the base of the holder. Place the drill and drill bushing in the holder and position to the scaled dimension. Secure the drill in place by tightening the 836-12-8 set screw. Adjust the screw in the shank of the holder until it seats on the back of the drill. Install the 2763-10SA holder in the first position spindle. The holder should bottom out against the front of the spindle and the front of the holder should be in a vertical position. Secure the holder.
Insert the cam lever handle in the first position end working cam lever and push the lever forward. Secure the stock stop latch. Set a toolmaker's divider to the sum of the length of the workpiece plus ten thousandths for facing plus three thirty seconds, which is the width of the cutoff tool. The stock stop is positioned by turning the 888-1 stock stop screw after first loosening the 837-516-1 binding screw. Once the divider contacts both the material and the stock stop, the stock stop is set. Jog the machine to the end of the work cycle or 12 o'clock on the burring spindle opening and closing cam. Monitor the advance of the 2763-10SA tool holder such that it does not contact the bar end. Set a toolmaker's divider to the length of the workpiece plus 10 thousandths for facing plus 330 seconds for the cutoff plus one quarter inch free play. Loosen the binding screw on the rear side of the feed slide. Adjust the feed slide through the use of the feed crank until the toolmaker's divider contacts both the washer at the end of the feed tube assembly and the back end of the inner spindle. Retighten the binding screw. On feed out, the bar should contact the middle of the stock stop. The stock stop plate on the 2763-10SA holder has been extra machined to allow a three-quarter inch bar to pass beneath the stock stop plate. 